Hi, and welcome to the fifth episode of building a software as a service application with Rails. Today we are going to add Devise and use Devise to generate a user model for us. The steps we're going to take to accomplish this are first specking out the user model, adding Devise and having Devise generate a user model for us, adding users fields to the account creation form, and finally debugging account creation spec with Pry. We're going to start out this episode in the account creation feature spec. In a previous episode we commented out the lines that had to do with the user model because we didn't have a user model yet. Well in this episode we're going to focus on adding the user model so we can go ahead and uncomment these lines. Next I'll open up the account spec and in the account spec we would like to add a few lines describing um, the association with the user model. So the account is going to have an association called an owner which is just going to be a user model. So under the validations we'll expect there to be an owner and under the associations we should belong to an owner. Next up we'll create a new spec for the user model that we're going to create. So we'll call it user spec under the spec models directory. And in here we'll just jot down some ideas. Uh, this isn't going to be final because we really don't know too much about the user model yet so we'll just write what we know. So taking a look at the, our specs running in the console, uh, we can see that some of our um, account specs are failing, the ones we just added, and we're looking for a constant named user which we don't have. So the next step is going to be adding this user model. So next up we're going to add device to the gem file and run bundle install. Now I can run the generator for device and that's just going to generate a internationalization file and a configuration file which we will take a look at later. With that done I can uh, now generate our device model. We want to specify no because we already have a user spec. With that done, now we can take a look at the migration that Devise generated for us. In here, we'll want to comment out um, the options that we don't want to use right now. So I'm going to comment out the trackable. I'm also going to add a string field for name so the users can provide their name. With my migration set up, I can migrate the database and I'll also migrate the test database. Let's take a look at the file that the device installation generated for us. Um, this is an initializer called device.rb and you should take a read through this and set it up as applies to your specific application. I'm not really going to change anything for right now except um, the password length uh, when I'm testing and doing development, I like to provide shorter passwords. just makes it easier um, in your specs and things like that. So I'm just going to uh, change the password length for the development and test environments. With Devise all set up, we can take a look back at our specs. And um, let's start by um, adding the Na presence of name validation for the user spec and after that we can add the association for owners and the presence of owner validation in the account model. Inside the user model I'm going to alter the device call to only use the modules that I would like and I am also going to validate the presence of the name record, the name uh, column. In our account model, we'll need to add the association for the owner 
and we'll also have to validate the presence of the owner association. Since the owner since owner is a different name than the actual class name, which is user, we'll have to specify the class name here. Taking a look at our specs, it looks like we caused another issue by adding the validation of owner. Um, we actually broke our account factory, so we'll have to fix that. We can clean up the account factory by adding a sequence to the subdomain since um, it is a unique attribute and then we'll add the association of the owner and we'll tie it to a new factory called user which we will create after this. We'll set up the user factory by having a name field, a sequence field for the email address, and a password. Back at our specs, uh, we can see that all of those specs are now passing, and we should be able to go ahead and tackle this form. To get this form working, I'm going to allow the account model to accept nested attributes for its owner association. In the long run, uh, nested attributes might not be the best way to go, but it's okay for now just to give us something to start with. Taking a look at the accounts controller, I'll need to build an owner association with the new in the new action. And I'll need to also alter my strong parameters permissions to accept the fields for the owner association. In our new account view, um, we'll have to add the fields for the owner association um, in the form. So as I said before this this probably isn't the best way to do these form fields but for now it works and um, we can refactor it later on once we know more about the requirements of uh, the type of forms that we'll be using in the application. So taking a look at our tests it looks like um, Capybara cannot find the password confirmation field. Uh, I'm pretty sure there is a password confirmation field, so I'm going to insert pry to take a look at what our page is doing. Back in our account creation feature spec, I'm just going to insert binding.pry. Um, pry is a debugging tool. If you don't have it installed, you can either add it to your gem file or run uh, gem install pry. So we'll just add that here below the password field. Now when our tests rerun we can see that a breakpoint was inserted at the binding.pry and now we can um, poke at our local variables and see what's going on. We can list all of the methods um, that the page variable responds to and then we can um, check the text within the page. Now it looks like our problem is that our password confirmation we had used a capital C in our spec but it's actually a lowercase c on the page so we can go ahead and fix that. In our account creation feature spec we'll simply remove the binding pry and change the password confirmation to a lowercase c. Our console will press enter to run all the specs again and it looks like everything is finally passing. Now we can just take a quick look at what we've come up with in the browser and when we create an account the form looks very nice. Uh, if we try to submit it it gives us uh, nice error messages so uh, I think this will be about it for this episode.